Okay, um, we have spent some time solving basic types of um, combination and permutation problems. In this video, we're going to look at the uh, binomial expansion theorem. And the reason for it is we want to get proficient in handling it. And we're going to use this as a background as to how to work with uh, generating functions, exponential and ordinary generating functions because these are going to be very powerful tools for us to solve more complicated uh, permutation and combination type problems. And here we have the binomial expansion written out, assuming that n is a positive integer. If n has a negative value, this has a different formula. We'll deal with that in uh, future videos. But basically what it says is that here we have a plus b raised to the n power, the first term is the binomial coefficient n, this exponent, over 0. Of course, that's just 1, times a to the n power. And then in the remaining terms, when we write them out, this bottom number sequentially increases by 1 until it reaches a value of n. And while that is happening, the exponent on a in each of these terms decreases by a value of 1 until we have a to the 0, which is 1. And then what also happens simultaneously is that the exponent on b increases by 1. Here you can think of we have b to the 0, then we have b to the 1, b squared, b cubed, until we have b to the n power. And we can write the whole formula in a more compact form like this, we can think of it as we're taking this sum starting at k equals 0, that's this term, then we continue on to the next term where k equals 1, which means now that this is being written to an exponent 1 less than it was previously, times b to the first power, and so forth. So if you haven't done this before, let's just kind of get a feel as to how it works. Suppose that we had this problem, say x squared minus 2y, and we want to raise this to the fifth power. Now, notice here, x squared corresponds to a. And likewise, b, that corresponds to minus 2y and n equals 5. So let's just follow the formula here and write out these terms that we would expect to have. So here we have n is 5, k is 0, and now we're going to have the a term is this, x squared, to the fifth power. And the b term is raised to the zero power, so that's just one. Plus, we have this binomial coefficient. Let's keep things in focus here. Now we're going to have this term that decreases by one, that exponent. And now for the b term, that increases by one. So that's just to the first power. Moving along, we have the next term. That's this binomial coefficient. Now we're going to have times x squared, not to the fourth power, but to the third power. And then for this term, we have minus 2y squared. And we have this term. Now we have x squared squared. This exponent increases by 1, so you have minus 2y cubed. And two more terms to write. We have plus 5 over 4. And now this term 
is just to the first power. So you can just write it like that. And this term, minus 2y to the fourth power. And finally, we have this binomial coefficient that sets us up for the last and final term here, where now this would be not to the 1 power, but to the 0 power. That's just 1. And here we have times minus 2y to the fifth. So there it is. All we have to do now is determine these binomial coefficients. And of course, in the previous videos, we've handled these quite a bit, so hopefully you're comfortable in doing that. This obviously is just 1. So we have x squared minus 2y to the fifth power equals 1. That's x to the tenth. Now we have this term. The next one is starts off with the binomial coefficient of 5 over 1. And that is just 5. Now here we have, from this term, minus 2. So that's going to give us minus 10 times x to the eighth times y. Let's write this a little bit neater. OK, now we have this term here plus, now that binomial coefficient of 5 over 2, that is equal to 10. And here we're going to have negative 2 squared. That's going to be plus 4. So this will give us plus 40 times x to the 6 times y squared. And for this term, this also, that binomial coefficient, that also is equal to 10. Here, though, we're going to have minus 2 cubed. That's going to be minus 8. So this will be minus 80 times x to the fourth times y cubed. This right here, this binomial coefficient, that's just 5. Oops, let's keep things in focus as we move along here. We're up to this term now. This is 5. Here we have minus 2 to the fourth. That's plus 16 times 5 is 80 times x squared times y to the fourth. And finally, this is 1. This is going to be minus 32 times y to the fifth. And there it is. Now, we didn't spend a lot of time here showing you why this is equal to 10. Uh, like I say, hopefully you're uh, proficient now in handling these binomial coefficients. But this here, let's take one example, that would be 5 over 3, that would be 5 factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. And that is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial. That's just 2 over 2 times 3 factorial. These cancel. That's 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Again, we're not spending much time on these because hopefully at this stage of the game, uh, you're pretty proficient in handling these binomial coefficients. But anyway, that right there then is the solution. Um, what we'll do is we'll look in another video and try to handle another problem or two. And then what we want to do after that is look at our formula in more detail and try to give not really a formal proof, but more of an intuitive justification as to why 
when we have two terms like this raised to a power, why it comes out to be this form. Um, we'll do that in another video as well. But okay, that wraps it up for this video. Come back to ask for some more videos. We're going to handle some more of these binomial coefficient problems. And then what we want to do is use this background to see how we can handle ordinary and exponential generating functions. And that in turn will allow us to handle more complicated permutation and combination problems. So come back and join us for those videos.